Hey team, I want to talk about leaders leaning into learning. I've had one of those weeks where I spent a load of time sitting and talking learning and sitting and being with students in the classroom and the difference um, in me and the difference in that classroom, the difference for students and the difference for teachers has really made me stop and think, think really, really hard about what is my job and how often do I actually stop and take the time to lead it, lean into learning. Leadership is a relentless job. It is hard work and it pulls you in so many different directions, in so many different ways. Everyone wants something and there's always more to do. What do you give priority to and how do you pull it all together to make it work? It can be overwhelming too often. We learn to read our own signs of overload and anxiety. It's hard work and hard to find the rhythm of managing it all. Over the next few weeks I want to look at elements of managing the job and managing being a leader and how we can make this work, how we stay afloat of this for a long time. As leaders, particularly as we near the end of the academic year, we have the pressure of demonstrating impact. Has everything we've done this year really made a difference? Did what we do work? I am all about data and the measurement of results. Triangulating data between internal, external and teacher performance data is a favourite, it's a favourite pastime of mine. I really enjoy looking for trends and alignment with what's going on. What stories does the data tell me? What am I about, what I am about though, is working out why. Why has something worked and why hasn't it? I'm not about finding out ex or finding excuses, rather about how do we impact in the time and with the resources we have. Really understanding impact and then strategizing how we maximize these. What, we, what do we need to do more of? That's a massive question. And John Hattie is all over this. I have his second edition to go through over the next few weeks. Watch this space. I'm impressed with his impact formula and use this with our own data, regular data analysis, working out teacher impact on individual and groups of learners. More to come on this, but for now, um, I want to talk about a little saying that I've modified for the Middle East setting. People get stuck on data and leaders get stuck in this data trail and forget about the other part of it. You know, we can weigh the camel, weigh the camel and weigh the camel, but unless we do something to that damn camel and with the camel, the data isn't going to change. We can look at the and do observations and give feedback as often as we like. But unless we lean into learning, model, teach, investigate and develop learning, then the data isn't going to change. Teacher practice makes the difference. What the teacher does is the difference between average data and the data that shows fabulous progress. How much do you know about how your teachers teach and whether that matches how your students learn? I'm not talking about a formula and I'm not talking about what you've seen in an observation or one size fit all. I'm about, I'm talking about really knowing what makes each individual think, how they act and react and where their gifts and their needs lie. And how do they impact and what do they need to learn next? And do they know? Knowing this is step one, but then what? What strategy do you have in place to build their practice? What are you prepared to do? You, not someone on the team. Are you ready to lead the next professional learning session? Can you model the progressions in teaching of literacy or numeracy? Can you teach a class and show a teacher what to do and how to bring this together? Can you work with students and move their learning in a single lesson?
Can you facilitate teacher planning? Can you connect teachers with other colleagues who can talk learning with them? That teacher who is just the step above their next progression, not the teacher of excellence that everyone aspires to be. Can you lean into a current book that will connect the teacher with, this, with theory and have it modelled to support their professional growth? How do you lean into learning? I'm not saying to quit the focus on data, but move beyond the data and the test to build real learning, to do something about it. If we focus on learning, the data will take care of itself. I have asked before, but how current are you? Can you lean into learning? And I'm going to keep repeating that. Can you talk learning with your teachers? Me, I am really grateful for my teaching experiences and my ongoing learning. I must say that teaching students in their first years of school was the greatest gift to my leadership. Teaching them as brand new learners and then having to guts it out with them for the next two or three years so that they were really deep, solid, strong learners. Then having to teach senior high school students and learning about how oral language develops and understanding how learning develops and why play-based learning is essential for every learner. And it's not just a fad. That the reading, reading takes place in a range of approaches to learn and knowing the minute scaffolds of this intimately, intimately are critical to literacy development development. Learning to write is, six is a six-stage progression to move from role play to advanced university writing. And do we understand this? Understanding math stages and how to model every math concept I teach with manipulatives and really knowing why Singapore does so well with math and adopting that approach. Knowing how standards work, verbs and nouns and knowing about progressions of learning about what comes before and what comes after and the lesson scaffolds that have to happen to grasp this concept. Knowing what problem-based learning is and how to teach it. Knowing practical strategies to bring this to student-led learning. And then about having clarity with every resource and purchase in every assessment we do. Why we make these choices and then how they impact. By no means can we expect leaders to know all there is to know about learning, curriculum or pedagogy, but we should know a lot. But I do believe that we can expect leaders to have a depth of practice that means they can lead and model it for their teachers. It is critical. We have to lean into learning and be there for our teams with current practice. Not what we have always done, and not because it's what we know, what we think we know, but because it impacts, and we know it impacts because we know it works, and the data shows us this. I'll say it again. It is the roughest time of the year for everyone. It is the time where we need to leave our office and to be in the classroom, not the corridor. School size and admin tasks and pressures are not excuses. Model, take a lesson, sit with a student, teach, lean in and be an active part in lifting learning.